particular sides. The winter before, I was drinking in Stavanger with some companions. With us in the mead hall were men of Bard Jarl's clan, one of which was a poet named Halli, called sarcastic Halli by most. Seven... stood upon his table and called across the room to another man, a skald named Chudolf. Chudolf, he yelled. I can compose a more beautiful poem with my belching than you could with your tongue and fine words. The room laughed. Chudolf, loudest of all. Sing. I, I accept your... Let's hear a story. I need your eyes, Stop my friend. Long before leading for England, I made a solitary trek a into the mountain. the shadow. Is there a cease called about that? I know a brave man about my age called Roku. We are taken to calling Roku the Rogue for his habit of collecting axes. For 20 years he collected axes of all make and size. He had never seen a day of battle, but he swore before that he would. His 31st year, after drinking too much ale, Rokur seduced another man's wife. That man called a Holmgang against Rokur. Rokur accepted the Holmgang, and on the agreed upon day, he laid Go. out 12 so of his axes and asked, Which of these will I use to slay? Bearded blade inscribed with sather runes, affixed to a handle of English oak. Or blood fountain, he could my Danax, which swings through the air on two hands, of an arrow's flight. Or might it be twin wolf wounder? Roker growled, growing even more bold. A fierce pair of throwing axes. At that moment, the man who had challenged Roker brought a large stone down upon his head. Walker died in What do you see? And his axes were given away as gifts. Sail down! Cast about this land, my friend. Sing us a song. New South Schools. Got a story? Here is a tale I do not often tell. There was a clan, little known in the South, composed in... Hold on, good stuff. <laughs> Strike 
Outstayed our welcome. Thor mm. lends me strength. Share a tale. Some years ago, I took the show me what lies a poor dancer called to me.
Yeah. <laughs> 
do you see, Sunan? Up at you. You sound schools. Got a story? When I was 11 winters old, I was the youngest of my Show favorite me. cousins. A wild and rowdy bunch of boys and girls. Together with our parents, we attended a feast at the home of Halpdan the Black of the House of England. To toughen our patience, our parents set us with the old woman. Who ordered us to bake flatbreads and serve it to the noble yards. After an hour, the flatbreads piled so high into pillars you could have built a roof over it and called it a longhouse. When our work was done, an older boy room and stole a barrel as I stood watch. But when we were spotted, I froze. Three of Harold's men stopped us. They struck Goofrod and Mikkel and pushed Orsa to the ground. Whose idea was this? They asked. I stood and said, the idea was mine. The meat is for me. One of the men eyed me and said only, That is not true. Then, they moved on. We'll pick up from there. Hey, stop that! These soldiers are tightly wound. Hey, who are you? Stop you! <laughs> We have this! Breath. 
house. This must be it. Why the hood, stranger?
Sigurd is not here. I'll ask around. These so welcome here. I've had enough trouble with Danes today. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm looking for my brother, a large Norseman. It was him what caused the ruckus. Him and that other one were here, talking to Thane Giedrich. Then Lady Edwin's soldiers swept in. A fight broke out. Your brother and the tanned fella got away. The soldiers nabbed Giedrich, though. I was sorry to see that. He's well liked in these parts. Which way did my brother go? Hmm. What's it worth to you to find out? I am asking a simple question. Look, Dane, you start a scene or a scuffle, and I'll scream for soldiers. Thieving Carter. Here's your silver. Thank you kindly. Your brother and his friend jumped through that window and ran for the river. I'd wager they hid in one of the fish houses there. Survey the area. Sigurd and Basim headed south. They wouldn't go far. I'll check along the river. to you. See you, old friend. Oh. Huh. Smells like a fish house. Good spot to hide. <sighs> we could have caught you to bloody giblets, Wolkist. Why so unnerved, brother? It's not like you. Half the soldiers of the Shire are hunting us. You must have noticed. Is that why you haven't come home? You're playing hide and fetch with the Mercian soldiers. Your brother's a busy man, Eivor. Weighed down by pressing duties. Haven't you some murderous errands of your own, Basim? Why are you here at all? My path crossed with Sigurds long ago. We work together now, toward a single purpose. Brother, we should be forging alliances. Send this man back to his warren before he leads you astray. Eivor, gods above, I'm grateful you've joined us. We have made strides towards an alliance, in fact. A local thane called Gidritz has pledged an oath to me. I've heard of him. The alewife also mentioned a Lady Edwin who commands the soldiers. Why not ally with her? Lady Edwin's husband was the Shire's elderman, until Gudrun's army ended his life. Now she's taking up her husband's fight, with a promise of aid from King Alfred of Wessex. Edwin vows revenge on the Danes who stole her husband and her livelihood. From what we know, Alfred is a fearsome king. 
If Edwin can win his full support, this Shire is lost to Wessex. So to fight her, you've pledged your sword to a minor thane who likely commands a gang of farmers and fishermen. Have faith, Eivor. A few hundred Saxons armed with hayforks and billhooks can be terrified. Gods! All men and women, noble or peasant, have within them the seeds of something greater. This is true. Sometimes greater than the average mind can fathom. Well, Edwin has Giedrich in shackles now. All your plotting has turned to ash. Not if we act soon. She dragged her prisoners to the Longhouse. With you here, we can mount the surprise strike. If Giedrich is our best chance for an alliance, let's see it done. Sigurd, has Basim talked you into something of little reward? Eivor, have you lost hope in my Warcraft? I heed Basim's wisdom. Stretch your wings. He has the look of one who trusts none but himself. Basim is secretive by nature, for he is wise and forthright. And he has opened my eyes to a magnificent truth. He has promised me a reward so unusual, so incredible, it will shatter your mind to shards. Brother, our bond has the iron heft of a war axe. Do not let Basim and his prophecies of good fortune sway you from our simple goal. Never. Our goal is fixed. We shall soon be the lords of Mercia, then all of England. But Basim has a deep in her the litany of my forefathers, and, well, there will be time enough for my saga later. Give me a hand! Sigurd, kill this sweaty fishwife! She will face trial. As will all the treasonous stains of this shire. You're the traitor, Edwin. Calling on Alfred of Wessex, begging for his army. Clap your mead hole, Giedrich. Lapdog of the Danes. You'll sell us out to Wessex. And that poxy-ass bastard, Alfred. We won't have it. Lady, there's no need for slaughter. We all want peace for Xenophotshire. Can we find some... agreement? You heathenish fork-tongued Dane! Foul-smelling heap, I shit on you all! Lady! Choose your next words with care, for you see before you the future master of all England, Sigurd, of the hungry Raven Clan. Lay down your arms, free my friend here, and kiss my lordly feet. You will not get a second chance. Sigurd, are you cracked? And you can kiss my rosy red ass, Wayface. I've done with this offal. I leave them to you. Flay them alive and tan their flesh for saddles. Time to die! Time has come! <laughs> what have they done? Ah! 
this kind of measure that you get yourself into. On time, I can still fight these bastards. To fight, you should have freed me. Gidrich, this is Aver, my stone armed sibling. Well met. That was your plan, Sigurd, to charm the lady with your vague hope of kingship. Prophecy, Aver, not hope. No time to squabble. Edwin's taken most of the Shire's thanes. She has her way, they'll be dead by supper. Tanned your wounds, Gidrich. We'll free your friends. And what of the holy woman, Fulke? You promised us a meeting with her. I did, aye. But it's a fair mystery why you'd want to Where talk with... Where is she? Thane Holt will know. Fulke lives on his lands. But he'll be dead with the rest if you don't stop the trial. Tell us where, and we'll go now. Their lives depend on the speed of your tongue. Southwest of here, halfway to Oxenaforda, at the Leech Vila garrison. Batim! Eivor! To horse! <laughs> Off again, Aver. You and I, with blades drawn and hearts ablaze. Who is this Fulke that Basim spoke of? An ally, Aver. A most important ally. A holy woman who trades in prophecies and secret knowledge. That is not the sort of alliance we're looking for, Sigurd. No, it's even better. You cannot imagine what discoveries await. You're speaking strangely, brother. Because I'm alive, Eivor. My heart's alight with the fuel of battle fire. Like old times, eh? Yes, Sigurd. Like old times. Remember our hunts beyond the Northern Way? Our first big kill was a ten-point deer. We brought it down together. The arrows from our bows like darts of ice. With sharpened chin bones for skinning the beast. You on the right, me on the left. Cast about this land, my friend. We crashed to the ground like a felt tree. Then the bloody struggle. Damn animal bit my hand. Never knew a buck could bite so hard. But I pierced its throat, spilling its life wine into the drifts. That put an end to him. Such tales your siblings tell. It's just one of a thousand. It was the glorious dawn of our lives. You haven't yet explained who this Fulke woman is. When the time is right, I will. She is the fulcrum of a larger plan. Above conquering England. What larger plan could we need? Patience, Aver. Patience. Fine. Keep your dread secrets, brother. But if this alliance fails, you would take them. Need your eyes, my friend.
Here are the All right. There. We have time yet. They're holding the trials just ahead. My blade is thirsty, friends. Shall we roll in like three barrels of fire? No, we must be careful. They are about to execute the prisoners. Open with you. Stay close. I'll help the others. I stand with Giedrich. 
Adrian sent me to find you. Let's go, now. For the Shire! Talk safely over there. We fought without Weasley Elton for years. for years. Now his widow wants to lop off our heads. Bless you all. Thanks to you, I live to pay Lady Edwin back in blood. I am Thane Holt. Does Giedrich live? He is safe in Buckingham. Good Thane. We are at your side in this fight, to keep this land in the hands of those who love Mercia, be they Saxon or Dane. God in heaven knows I'd sooner see a Dane married to my daughter than sell a man of Wessex one of my pigs. If Giedrich is behind you, then I am too. We're told you know of a holy woman, Fulke. Where is she now? Can we not fixate on this cipher, Fulke? Edwin is our focus. Fulke holds a secret that may turn the tide of this fight. Without her, I cannot achieve my full purpose here. The madwoman Fulke. However deranged you might be, my brother wishes to meet her. The sooner you make this happen, the swifter this war will end. Understand this. Fulke is a heretic, a sower of poisoned knowledge, and an enemy of the Church. She claims to have seen or spoken with God himself. And for this, Lady Edwin had her imprisoned. I know not where. At a monastery, I suppose. We should make inquiries. Sigurd, do we not owe Gidrich some word of what has happened here? You can speak with him in my stead. But we must hurry. Fulke's life may be in danger. We risk losing all the gains we've made here for the sake of this woman. Trust me, Eivor. Fulke is of great importance. You'll soon understand. I hope I will. We have a camp to the east at Linforta. An old harbor on the Great Ouse. Meet us there. We Thanes will raise a feared and join with you to take down Edwin. Whatever it takes. Bring this news to Giedrich. And tell him we'll be ready when he calls. Every man will be needed.